joining us right now. A local boy, a big time pick by the Philadelphia Union, Chris Nanko. Chris, welcome, my friend. Hey, how's it going? Thanks hey, for having me. Pleasure's all mine. Chris, before we get to it, you know, I, I know you're a Brampton boy and you attended Syracuse. That's a deadly mix because out of those two places, a ton of players have come out of there. What, what's the special ingredients of those two places? <laughs> um, I mean, just just a lot of um, a lot of development, a lot of uh, coaches and stuff uh, in Brampton as well as uh, at Syracuse have helped us uh, players like myself develop, and um, uh, they continue to do so, continue to find great players and um, and help them develop. Uh, so yeah, just uh, just thanks to the coaches that. Um, that I've come across, and uh, thankfully I've gotten to this point. So let's talk about it, Chris. Philadelphia Union calls your name. Uh, a relief for you, a relief for your family, a relief for all your coaches. Uh, you now get the opportunity because Philadelphia believed in you where other clubs took a pass and they didn't believe in you. How important is it now to prove a lot of people wrong out there? Because i got to be honest, Chris, I watched the combine, and unfortunately there was a couple teams there that were really – not that very well set up and good, and it, it, it showed. But I watched you and I watched a ton of guys, and you showed some of your leadership abilities and your quality because of the years you've spent overseas with some big-time clubs in NCAA. Talk about Philadelphia believing you. Talk about why Philly took a chance in you. What did they say to you? Um, they've, yeah, they've watched me play uh, over the past four years at Syracuse. Um, They've seen me grow up since I was a freshman uh, up into my senior year. Uh, I think I had a lot of change throughout the throughout those four years, um, and I showed a lot uh, in my senior year uh, with leadership, as you said. Um, I think that uh, was a big deal translating it onto the field, especially when I came in the combine. Uh, it's unfortunate you can't you can't really pick the team that you're on, but um, I think all the players there were great. Uh, sometimes you just don't mesh well together at, uh, uh, when you come together that quickly, but. Um, I think Philly, uh, Philly Union saw uh, saw some of those traits, uh, the leadership that I've um, I've gained uh, throughout my college experience, um, as well as just my my pace and uh, my uh, willingness to go forward, make runs in behind, take on players, and and just try to try to score goals and and whatnot. So I think uh, they saw that in me and uh, throughout the combine as well as uh, in college and. Uh, I think it paid off. Chris, I'm glad you said that because the games I watched at the Combine and the games I've watched to play with Syracuse in the past and up here in Ontario, you like to take guys on 1v1. You like to use your speed. You like to use your head. And that, to me, speaks of confidence. Where did you gain that confidence? Who helped you with that confidence? Because it seems to me, again, watching the Combine, you were fearless. Nothing fazed you. Uh, yeah, I think uh, as you mentioned before, just traveling overseas um, and, and and playing um, a college game in the NCAA, uh, just getting those experiences at a young age, also playing with the national team, uh, going to the U17 World Cup, uh, playing with the U20s. Uh, I think all the all those experiences um, came to come together, and I try to uh, bring different things into my game, uh, whether I learned them uh, locally from Brampton, whether I learned them overseas in England or something like that or at Syracuse, uh, or at Sigma, uh, I think uh, I try to bring in all those experiences and, and uh, create the player that I am today. Now, you talked about Sigma. Uh, if my memory serves me right, and I'm getting old, so I might have forgotten, so forgive me, Chris, but I think at the ages of, what, 12, 13, or 14, you play basically on, on an unbelievable, talented squad. I think, was Kwame there? Was Kyle Lauren there, the number one overall pick with Orlando? Who else was on that team? Uh, yeah, there was a there was a great talent uh, coming to uh, uh, coming through that Sigma age group, the '95 age group. Uh, yeah, we uh, we like to brag uh, brag back at Sigma, saying we're the we're the best age group. Uh, so uh, yeah, we had uh, Kyle Larin uh, playing with Orlando. We had Richie Larea uh, that also plays with Orlando. Kwame was there. Uh, just got drafted to New York. Um, we have a lot of guys that are still in college right now. Um, and coming out to the last their last year, so uh, a lot of a lot of um, talent coming out from that age group, and a lot of talent coming out from Sigma in general. So let's talk about some of the time you spent in Europe. I understand you had some stints with some big name clubs, and you also spent uh, quite a bit of time at Syracuse, as we know. Tell us what you're taking from Syracuse, and what you're taking from your experiences in Europe, and you're going to transfer that to Philly to show them 
that full package and why they drafted in you. What did you get from Syracuse that you're going to take with you in overseas in Europe? Um, I think it, in uh, overseas in Europe, I, I learned a lot about the technical part of the game. Uh, coming at a young age, uh, I think um, uh, that was a big difference for me, uh, playing in Canada and then, and then traveling over there. Uh, a lot of those European players are very technical, very good on the ball, uh, use their heads a lot. Um, and then when you go to uh, a place like um, America and NCAA, it's more physical. Uh, uh, players are players there are more fit um, and stronger, bigger, faster, and stronger. Um, so I think I learned I learned uh, about that more. Uh, so I think Phil Union has um, uh, has a good pick in me because uh, I, I've played on both both sides of those both sides of the game. In that sense, um, I think that uh, they will uh, they're getting a player that is ready for the physical um, aspect. I know that. Um, a lot of coaches and a lot of teams have um, been worried about how how small I am and whatnot. Uh, but I, I've shown uh, throughout college that I'm ready for the physical aspect of the game, the fitness, and and just the hard work in general. Um, and playing through Sigma, playing through uh, playing the European style, uh, I think uh, that helped me out with my footwork, dribbling out players, and, and just my just my sense on the ball. So, Chris, what has Philadelphia Union GM Ernie has said to you? What has the coach said to you? What do they expect from you? Uh, when do you go to training camp? Give us an understanding of all that. Um, they just uh, told me the basics. Um, they, they, uh, they believe in me. They've uh, watched me play. They think I'm a good player. Um, they want me to come in, just be comfortable, be myself, uh, not just be happy to be there, but work, work hard, uh, which uh, I plan on doing. And... Um, Hopefully, uh, that uh, hopefully I can show them that they, they made the right choice, and um, hopefully I can uh, get some minutes on the first team. So, Chris, before we let you go, is uh, I talked to a couple other draft picks uh, this week on the show, and then I read with FC Dallas, another local boy, uh, Kwame Awuya with New York City FC. He was on the show, and I made them make me a promise, and I'll do the same thing to you. I told them, and I'll tell you, Chris, it is so important that you take out your family or people that are important in your life to a wonderful dinner to celebrate this achievement in your life. Talk about some of these people, Chris, because when you were down, when you were out, when you were, were stressed, and maybe uh, you know people didn't believe in you, and these people were by your side, who were they, and how are you going to thank them? It's funny that you mentioned that. Uh, we, my brother was just setting up a family dinner on for Friday just uh, as a going away thing and a congratulations um, so yeah all my family will be there uh, just I want to thank uh, uh, my mom she's always been there for me uh, helps me make tough decisions in life um, uh, she's been my rock ever since I started playing soccer ever since I was born so uh, my mom I like to thank my two older brothers um, they've they've been the ones that I've been looking up to in sports and stuff like that uh, one of them plays football, one of them plays soccer as well. Uh, my younger sister as well, um, she's always been there for me too. Um, keeps, me, keeps me motivated. Make, uh, I just like really want to do this for her and show her that she can uh, be anything and do anything she puts her mind up to. Uh, also, uh, coaching staff at Sigma, uh, I'd like to thank them, Bobby, Pasta, all those guys uh, that work there. Um, all the all the staff at Syracuse and the school in general uh, for giving me the opportunity to go out there and 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 play at another level and and get my education. Uh, Coach Max, uh, Coach Yuka, uh, Coach Verney, and all the all, all the other coaches that have been there throughout my four years. Um, and yeah, uh, that's that's basically it. Yeah, my friends and my friends as well, uh, and all, all my cousins and my family and. Yeah. You know, Chris, you mentioned the coaches, both of Syracuse and Sigma, and many of them, uh, you gave them the credit which is due to them. And as we let you go, I think it's important also, you talk to the young players out there and how these coaches, uh, Bobby Simiotas, Costa, Michael Maddich, a former police officer, the Syracuse coaches, how they taught you to, uh, to, to do things away from the field and hold yourself up as an unbelievable citizen wherever you're at. Talk about that because I think that's important and that's not told enough about. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, all the just all the decisions you make in life, um, they all tie in together. Um, just just have to be um, positive and stay with uh, positive on what you're doing. Um, I mean, just like 
just like uh, compare everything, I guess, to soccer and what you want to do in soccer or what you want to do in life in general and uh, make sure you're on the right path for that. Uh, they've done a great job of keeping my head straight and um, putting me on, on the right path and giving me opportunities to, to be successful in life. And I want to thank all of them for that. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't have done this and I couldn't have lasted this journey uh, without them. So so thank you to all of them. And uh, just for, for all the young kids out there, just, just keep working, keep, um, keep going to practices, uh, keep going to classes, um, and, and just do what, you, do what you need to do. Everybody has a different path, and uh, eventually you'll make it, and eventually you'll get there. Well said, Chris. I want to thank you for making time. Good luck with the Philadelphia Union, and don't forget uh, to always, always give back in the community you came from. Spend some time with the young kids there. Talk to them, guide them, and help them, and that'll go a long, long way. It's time to make some people eat their words for not taking you much, much earlier, so we wish you nothing but success, Chris, and again, Congratulations being picked by the Philadelphia Union, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me.